Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this key in our house. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. And the units that we're using is millimeters. And first things first, let's add in grid lines. So you could go to architecture or GR for short. And let's add in a vertical grid line first. Once you do, press escape. And then click the grid line again. And then copy, so CO. And then make sure that multiple is checked. And grab it again from the grid line and type in 5400 next will be 5000 so I made a mistake here it's easy just click on number 3 grid line and type in 5000 then again press escape click on the grid line and then CO to copy Make sure multiple is checked and grab it again from the grid line number three. And the next will be 4700. Next will be 4000. And then 6700. Press escape and then escape again. Let's zoom in a little. And then next thing, we're going to add in our horizontal grid line. So I'm going to click grid line. And then let's add in a vert, uh, horizontal like so. Press escape and then escape again. And click on the bubble. Let's change this to letters, so capital A and then enter. And then after that, select the grid line again and then type in CO to copy. And then make sure multiple is checked. We will add grid line, horizontal grid line right now. So first is 2000. Next will be 3000. Again, it should be 3200. And then lastly, it should be 5300. Press escape and then escape again. We're going to add dimensions. But before we add dimensions, I'm going to edit this type. And then duplicate. Type in metric and imperial. I want an alternative dimension. Press OK. And then here, alternative units format. I want it to be below. And then here, we will need to change this to feet and fractional inches. Press OK and then OK. And then now we could add in dimensions like here. Just like that. Let's add it here as well. And then let's add in the overall. For here, we're going to click this one. And as you can see, there's a dashed line, temporary dashed line. We could just pull it up. And as you can see, every uh, grid line comes up as, as well. We're just going to move this one below and then click on dimensions again to add the overall dimension right here. 
we're good. So press escape and then escape again to finish the command. Here, I'm just going to extend it a little bit so that we have space here. And then here, press this one. And then we're just cleaning it up. Also here, we don't need it to be that long. So now that we have our dimension, we could start by adding wall. So go to architecture. Uh, before that, press escape first. And then let's go and put in our elevation or our levels. Here, I want to fix it, but I'm going to click this level and I'm going to move it on the right side. And then I'm going to extend this upwards like so. So we're cleaning it up bit by bit. Um, I'm going to change this to 3200. We're also going to add a level. So go to architecture beside grid line. And we have our level. You can also type in LL to add. And this one. We're going to add it 3200 as well. So our, that's our level 3. And then we're going to add in one more. So LL. So around 2000 below. And change this pool. So we're going to add our pool below grade. And then let's extend this down. So now that we already set that, we can now go back to level 1. And then here, we're going to go to architecture and click wall. I'm going to edit this type. so. Choose basic wall, edit this type, duplicate, exterior wall, number one, press OK, edit, let's change this to 300 millimeters, and look for white. So let's choose clad white for now and then OK and then OK and then OK. Now we're going to add in the wall. So we're going to add it at A1. So click on A1 and all the way to A7. And then go back or go down up to D7. And then go up to D2. And then go down E2. And then here E1. And all the way to A1 to finish. So we finish our first walls. Our exterior wall. Then we need to go back and add in another wall. So I press escape and click wall. And we could edit this type. Duplicate. This will be interior wall number one. Press OK. Edit this type. I want it to be 200 only, and I want it to be white as well. Press OK, and then OK, and then now we're going to create our interior wall. So in the middle of B and C,
I want to add a wall in between like that and then from A6 to D6 I want to close that off and then here C6 around 2000 and then go up 1300 up to C5 and all the way down press escape and then here we're gonna add in some walls so from D D4 up to C4 but go over and maintain the level with the other side so as you can see there's like um, extension dash and then here we could add in up to 3000 and then go down like that press escape And then actually, we're going to add in the same wall in the middle, like, like that. One thing we forgot to do is to connect all the walls. So I'm going to tap in the exterior wall and make sure this is connected up to level 2 only. So to do it fast, hover over to the wall, click tab, and select that, and then connect it to level 2. And again here, we could do that fast. Connect to level 2. And lastly, you can hold on control button to select the wall and we could just put it to level two. And then we could set up by adding doors. So I'm gonna add a door right here. And I'm just going to use the smallest that they have. Press space bar. And so to change the orientation. And then here I want the orientation to be like that. This will be oriented like that. And this one space bar to change the orientation. And then here. We have another door. And then actually we're going to have a wall right here. and then add in so this one is 2200 and then let's make this 3000 or 2500 sorry so 2200 by 20 2500 and this will be added for the door we're also going to add a wall right here so I'm just going to add a wall like that 
in a second i'm going to give you the dimension so this one let's move it this will be 2000 and then here it's around 3200 and then another wall like here so we have a closet here and then we have a storage i'm gonna add a door right here and later on we're gonna add in a door for the closet So actually, I'm just going to change this one. So instead there, I want it to just connect it here. So I'm just going to extend this all the way there. And I would like to add the door right here. Okay. So at least uh, this will be an office with a washroom. So at least it's, it looks like this much better in terms of space um, this will be our kitchen area our dining area we have a family area right here or or actually our living area here and this will be our family area this will be where the stairs will be this is where the garage, two car garage, and we have our game room here. So let's insert. Not seating, but fixtures. So go to plumbing and then architecture and then fixtures click on bathtub so we're going to add in bathtub first so we're going to load that load again go back urinals not urinal sorry um sink And then again, go back to fixtures. And then some toilet. We're just going to add it here. So go to architecture, click component. And let's add in the toilet. And then after that, sink or vanity and then go back again and bottom press escape and we have our washroom right here and right there. So we're going to stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.